Thanks for coming uh, this afternoon. My name is uh, Staff Sergeant uh, Martin Chavetta of the uh, Calgary Police Service Homicide Unit. <clears throat> the victims of the triple homicide that occurred earlier this week have been formally identified. At approximately 11 a.m. on Tuesday, July 31st, 2018, police were called for a check on a welfare for two residences in Calgary. Upon arrival at a residence in the 2000 block of Apple Village Court Southeast, a man was taken into custody nearby and police found a deceased woman within the residence. The victim has been identified as Taylor Toller, 24. She is believed to be the girlfriend of the accused. A deceased man and a deceased woman were subsequently found during a check on the welfare at a residence in the 10100 block of Hidden Valley Drive Northwest. They have been identified as Alan Penny Legion, 51, the accused stepfather, and Sean Bosnuck, 52, the accused mother. It is believed that Penny Legion and Boshuk died as a result of an assault occurring in the early morning hours of Tuesday, July 31st. Through new information, an exact time for Toller's death has not yet been confirmed. However, it is believed that she likely died on or about Thursday, July 26th. Investigators are seeking information from anyone who may have been with or spoken to Toller during that time frame. The cause of, the de cause of death for the victims will not be released out of respect for the families, and this matter is now before the courts. Although these murders are considered to be de domestic in nature, due to the relationship between the victims and the accused, the exact motive for the murders is not yet known at this time. Dustin William James Duthie, 25 of Calgary, remains in custody and is in charge with three counts of second degree murder. He will next appear in court on Wednesday, August 8, 2018. The CPS is unable to comment or confirm any further information in relation to his in custody status. There now have been 10 homicides so far in Calgary in 2018. Anyone with information about this case is asked to contact the homicide tip line at 403-428-8877 or Crime Stoppers. This case is a very tragic reminder that domestic violence is a real problem in our community and it crosses all neighborhoods, age groups, ethnicities, religious, religion, sorry, and economic statuses. Victims of domestic violence can also contact the Calgary Police Service anytime by calling the non-emergency line at 403-266-1234 or 911 if you are in immediate danger. Good evening. My name is Shane Graham and I'm a very close friend of the family. Alan Pelling Legion was um, a friend of mine for close to 30 years and a man I consider my brother. They have asked me, the family has asked me to speak tonight on their behalf. First, I would like to thank the Calgary Police Service for their excellent work and their compassion and uh, just the overall wholehearted kindness towards the family and myself. I'd also like to thank the close family friends that have reached out in support to the family and, and myself. And I'd like to thank everyone else who has offered their support to the family. It's, it's been phenomenal and, uh, and truly a gift from God. I am joined by Alan and Sean's children, David and Adam. I would also like to acknowledge that not everyone affected by this tra tragedy could be here tonight. Two other children, Alexis, who is on her way here from the States, and Jordan are not here tonight. There are other family, mother, family members who are out of town that will be in attendance later on. The family has been torn apart by the actions of Dustin William James Duffy this week. It is nothing short 
of a tragedy that has many ripple effects and has affected many people in different areas. We are hopeful that justice will be served and are so thankful for all the support that everyone has given us in the past two days. As you can expect, this has been an incredibly difficult time for everyone, for everyone involved. We ask that the privacy of the family be respected as they grieve and process this tragedy. If people do want to support the Al and Sean's children, there are two GoFundMe pages that have been set up to help with the expenses and the changes that will, will result from this tragedy. One is the Hilltoppers Fund, set up by Pat Labrash, and the other one is set up in the name of the family. Thank you. Yeah, I um, will answer uh, questions as best I can. How important is it for people to come forward with information that they may have on the situation? It's certainly uh, very important as we uh, work towards um, creating uh, the most accurate timeline of, uh, of events. Where was the taller last seen then um, from your guys' if so you think it was July 26th? Um, a family member uh, reported her. We believe that she was uh, last seen um, um, in and around her residence at that time. So originally we were hearing the 25th, <coughs> and now sometime between the 26th and the 31st. So yeah. I assume why, why you're making this plea is so that if somebody maybe got a text on the 27th or the 28th, that would help you narrow the timeline? Yeah, <coughs> we have uh, certainly been, been canvassing the area and uh, securing uh, CCT video, which is obviously greatly assisting us narrowing the timeline. Um, at this point, um, we believe that uh, she uh, <coughs> she likely died in the early morning hours of the of the 26th. Have police ever been called that home before? Uh, yes, for unrelated matters. Are you uh, searching for any more physical evidence? We have um, completed our search um, in Applewood. We will be completing the search uh, in Hidden Valley uh, fairly shortly. Um, we are still uh, waiting for the results of, uh, of one autopsy. Um, I know the family doesn't want to speak, but I'm just wondering if you can sort of uh, talk further about the effect that this has had on you know, everyone involved. Can you imagine you know, how they're feeling right now trying to deal with all of this? I think it goes without saying that uh, this is certainly um, one of the most uh, tragic events um, that a family can ever go through. Um, <clears throat> took a lot of courage for uh, the family to be here today as well as uh, family friends. Um, I can also say that um, this file, the scenes, have certainly taken a, a toll on our investigators as well that are processing it. Um, you can imagine this was a, a very traumatic uh, incident um, and um, certainly um, Processing those scenes would be very challenging for the uh, the investigators and anyone involved. 